What's up guys, got another Zombies Point of Interest video today. This one's a bit different from the other one. This one is based on the latest map pack for Black Ops 2 Zombies, which is Mob of the Dead. Mob of the Dead bears resemblance, it bears a lot of resemblance actually, to Call of the Dead from the original Black Ops. It is a map with a very cinematic setting. It doesn't include the main plot characters. And of course the name bears resemblance to Call of the Dead as well. Now... The point I want to make is timeline and continuity and points like that. The first point I'm going to make is probably the most obvious one, which is the colour of the zombies' eyes. Now, for those who don't know, when during Black Ops 1 and World at War, the zombies' eyes were yellow. Yellow eyes mean that Samantha is in control of the zombies. Samantha is obviously Dr. Maxis' daughter that was trapped within the MPD and controls the zombies to try and kill the original survivors and Richter Fenn to try and get revenge for her father's death. Well, partial death, I guess you could say, being as he is in what we would guess is the Aether. Then, at the end of Black Ops 1, Richter Fenn swaps bodies with Samantha and takes control of the MPD. This changes the eyes of the zombies to blue, indicating that they're under Rick Defense control. And the zombies' eyes are blue in Dire Eyes, they're blue in Transit, and they are blue after round 25 on Nuketown zombies. However, in Mob of the Dead, the eyes aren't blue and they aren't yellow. The eyes of the zombies are red. Now, the thing that I'm trying to get out with this is the person in control of the zombies. Now, you could just say that at this point the zombies are feral, they're just wild zombies, but this point is backed up by the announcer. The announcer is the original announcer, I believe, from World at War and Black Ops 1, excluding Moon after the Easter egg, which is Samantha's voice, what we thought was Samantha's voice. However, I believe that this point sort of points out something obvious. Seeing as the zombies eyes are different, they are red, and there is an announcer, because logic tells you if no one's in control of the zombies there would not be an announcer, and it would not be Samantha's voice. I'm thinking that the zombies are under control before Samantha takes control of them. However, the question is who are they under control of? Now, you might say that they're wild and they're not controlled by anyone, and that's that's a valid theory, but I think differently. I think seeing as, as I said in the previous points of interest, Russman constantly mentioning about aliens and the constant references in Call of Duty, zombies to the aliens, you know, Call of the Dead had a very strong reference in terms of the actual UFO that dropped down the real generator. I think that the people in control of the zombies, or persons, or things in control of the zombies in Mob of the Dead are the Vrilia. The Vrilia, again, as I said in the previous video, are a zomb not a zombie, an alien master race that live in Agartha, or a rumour to live in Agartha. Agartha, again being Hollow Earth, the point that Russman also makes that an item comes from Hollow Earth. I think that this idea of the Vrilia being un in control of the zombies and then passing control voluntarily over to Samantha when she falls into the MPD and then switching control voluntarily again with Richter Fenn when he switches bodies with Samantha at the end of Moon, I think this theory is extremely plausible. And another point to back that up is the time frame of Mob of the Dead. Mob of the Dead occurs in the 1930s. Now this is definitely before before Richter Fenn even finds the MPD. So nobody would logically be in control of the zombies. Another partial theory of this is that somebody else could have been in control and somebody else could have been trapped within the MPD. Now, we don't really have any substantial evidence of anyone being trapped in there before Samantha, so that's sort of that's open, but I wouldn't say it's as plausible as the Vrilia. Now, back to the point I made earlier about the time frame of Mob of the Dead. Mob of the Dead again occurs in the 1930s, before the Wonder Weapons were created, before Richter Fenn and Maxis 
produce zombies, the matter transference device, things like that. This point, I feel, is either something that's been overlooked by Treyarch, which I don't think it is, or it's a hint that nobody's really picked up on. The ray gun is in the box. That might sound pretty obvious, the ray gun has been in every single Call of Duty Zombies map ever made, but it shouldn't be in this map. The reason it shouldn't be is because the ray gun is in there before it should be. It should be in there after, say for example after, well definitely during the 1940s. It shouldn't be in there in the 1930s because it hasn't been made yet. And it is made again by Dr. Maxis, Rick Defend, Group 935, creating the Wonder Weapons. So, why is it in there? I'm thinking that the Vrilya also would have something to do with this, seeing as they are a master race and they have access to vastly superior technology. They could have actually made the ray gun and then given Maxis the power to make a ray gun of his own, somehow. You know, just like placing the idea in his head, whatever, but I think that overall in Mob of the Dead it, the zombies aren't wild and I think the ray gun, there's more beh behind the ray gun than you actually think, than anyone's even noticed I think. So that's my theory and that's my point of interest for Mob of the Dead. I think the Vrilya are in control of the zombies and uh yeah, if it, I think that's a point that needs a bit more research, but it seems very, very plausible. Anyway, that's all I have for you today. Uh, thank you for watching this video. I posted the last video and it's already got a fairly good reception already. I mean, by a starting, stand, by a starting channel standard. So, thank you for watching this video. Uh, check out the other video, which I will link below, which is... A bit more about the Vrilya and it may interest you to watch that as well. If you enjoyed the video please give it a like below. If you like what you're seeing from this channel so far hit the subscribe button there'll be more of this, gameplay, theories, developments, research, things like that. So thank you for watching and take care.